What are you staring at? What are you looking so attentively? Oh, you like the RV? I know how dogs chase vehicles. Do dinosaurs? It's getting, leave Large Marge alone. She's trying to fuel up. It's a good thing they have this dino strapped down because I think it's about to burst towards my RV. All right, see you later. Welcome everyone, Adam. Ethan! Ooh, here. It's my second channel, daily vlog channel. It's, it's a horse. The Daily. It's really cold. That's colder than normal. Just a tad bit on the windshield. And look, coincidence, horses. If the walls of this farmhouse could talk, it could probably tell some incredible stories. The clothesline, still here. And look at this tornado shelter. Something out of the movie Twister. Obviously, no one's resided here for quite a while, but they still have the Christmas lights up. A lot of spider webs. The weather in the Midwest is a powerful thing. Just look what winds or the elements have done to the top part of the concrete. It's safe to say these pumps have not been used in a while. Six gallons of gas totaling $8.20 the registration expired in 1986. According to the sign written in Sharpie on the side of the desk, they didn't take credit cards, but they would cash your check. And I do believe that's another shelter right there in the ground. I do not like tornadoes. You know you're in a small town when this is your school bus. Wow. The road I'm traveling on is State Highway number two and I'm heading directly westbound. There's not a whole heck of a lot of civilization out here. The terrain is very beautiful, but not a lot of people. In fact, no one. One of these days in the future, I'd like to do a little traveling by train, you know, a passenger train. Just book a trip, go somewhere, just be on a train for a few days. I think it'd be an interesting adventure. You are near the center of the world's greatest cattle producing area. Some 13 million acres of deep sand. That's a, really 13 million acres? Now in Florida, there are sandhill cranes, but in Nebraska, there are obviously sandhill cows. Came across a little civilization and in front of this home, is a really fantastic piece of artwork carved from a tree. There's a fish and an eagle chasing it, and not a pink flamingo over there, but a little blue flamingo in the yard. The rain really does just come out of nowhere in this neck of the woods. Storm clouds roll in pretty quickly. Nice little drizzle, nothing too major. It's kind of nice, cools things down a bit. Could that be? Could that possibly be? Oh yeah, it is. What's going on over there? You 
guys just chilling next to the windmill? That sign says, caution, tractor crossing. Are you guys trying to cross the road? I've heard of chickens. I've heard of chickens trying to cross the road, but never, never tractors. They're all lined up there. You know the solitude is slightly getting to you. You talk to normal human beings, communicate with living, breathing people, and then I transcend into talking to animals, which I totally can justify. But I just addressed farm equipment as if they were not an inanimate object. Ah, the open road. Gotta love it. What's the dog's name again? Bruce. Bruce. What's happening, Bruce? Just got a nice little spot on the, the wooden floor there. The unincorporated town of Ellsworth. A little vintage old oven there and a bar made out of wagon wheels with some inscriptions here which look like what you would basically brand cattle with. They have branded the, the wood on the bar. And that's an old photo of the cowpoke haven that I am now currently wandering around inside. And look at all these weapons on the side of the wall. And oh, whoa, look at that skull. That place has been open since 1898. It's kind of hard to wrap your head around, right? He asked me not to film them, but there were a lot of guns for sale in that store. A lot of guns for sale. I also picked up some corn nuts. I don't think I've had these in probably half a decade or so. Maybe even longer than that, to be honest. And now prepare thyself, feast your eyes upon Car hinge. This is amazing. It's like a cross between Cadillac Ranch and Stonehenge. But unlike the famous landmark in Texas, they do not want you graffitiing these. The only paint on these is gray. This is definitely something you would not expect to see in Nebraska. The whole idea originated by this guy, Jim Reinders, in 1987, which means it's the 30th anniversary of this place. It never ceases to amaze me what people will come up with and not only put their minds to, but completely bring it to fruition. And speaking of, there's a Cadillac right there. And is that? Is that the Mirthmobile? The property doesn't just consist of this incredible replica, but it also stretches out onto the perimeter of the field. Jeff Sandhurst of Canada named this the spawning salmon. Look at that guy just buried in the ground there. At least the bottom part of his torso is buried. The prehistoric beast looms. He's looming. I wonder if this is a dedication to Clark Griswold. <laughs> Things that make you go hmm. Now if I am understanding this correctly, this is to be unearthed in June of 2044. They have to get a backhoe out here, or some sort of tow truck, because there's a time capsule down in there. Now while tagging is not allowed, they do permit you signing the white car on the far left of the hill, way up there. And it just so happens I brought along a Sharpie. Mission accomplished. And if you ever make it out here and you want to see where I wrote my name and write yours next to mine, it's located on this side, right about in the middle, the corner of the windshield and the side of the door, right there. Come sign your name next to mine. There are a few people out here, but not as many as I expected and not as many as you'd see at some other roadside attractions that are similar 
most likely because it's pretty good distance to the nearest interstate. There's even a little gift shop on site. Sells t-shirts, caps, and souvenirs. So you don't sell those anymore, no, the old school ones. I know it. And this is the paper when he was getting the permits. Yeah, that's probably one of the many city council meetings he attended because they tried to, tried to close him down for quite a while after he built this. Was he an artist or a madman? I created Car Hinge! And I also got the sweet magnet. Now, if you're feeling so inclined, pause the video and you can read off every year, make, and model of each car that's located right over there. I really enjoyed this leg of the road trip that I've been on so far. A big difference between being out here and my new home in Southern California. For example, in Hollywood, you don't see one of these, you don't see one of these mechanical marvels that they use for plowing fields and what do they use that for? It's called a twin master. You don't see those too much careening down the roads of Los Angeles. You don't, you don't see that too much. If you did, that would be weird. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Vlog over.